वेलकम टू साइंस प्लेनेट सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर ऑन अप्रैल 17 1955 एल्बर्ट आइंस्टीन एक्सपीरियंस्ड एन इंटरनल ब्लीडिंग व्हिच वाज कॉज्ड बाय द रप्चर ऑफ हिज आर्टरी ही वाज सडनली टेकन टू द हॉस्पिटल आफ्टर एग्जामिनिंग हिज बॉडी डॉक्टर सेड दैट ओनली अ सर्जरी कैन सेव हिज लाइफ but albert einstein denied the surgery by saying that it is tasteless to prolong life artificially i have done my share it's time to go and i will do it elegantly but before his death einstein asked not to conduct research on his dead body because he was afraid that some people might start praying his dead body so he wanted his body to be cremated and the ashes scattered secretly on 18th of april 1955 albert einstein died in princeton in a hospital after his death a pathologist named thomas harvey was called to conduct the autopsy on albert einstein but without even taking the permission from einstein's family harvey stole einstein's brain and ran away He kept his brain in a jar in his basement for over 40 years. He studied it, took pictures of it, and even dissected some parts of Einstein's brain into small pieces. After 40 years of research, Harvey decided to show up and gave the brain to scientists. Currently, Einstein's remaining brain is preserved in a museum in Pennsylvania. So that's the story of Albert Einstein's brain and I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you in the next video